Hi, I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Density to Molarity Conversion. All right, so for this example, let's use water. Now, water's density is one gram per milliliter. And we need to get to molarity, and molarity's units are always in moles per liter. So once we have these units, we know that we're done with that problem. So the first step is we need to convert grams to moles. We do that with our molar mass. So now water, H2O, weighs 18 grams per mole. It's because oxygen weighs 16 AMUs and each hydrogen weighs one, but we have two of them. So with 18 grams per moles, let's convert. Now to cancel out grams, we're gonna have to have the grams in our molar mass be on the denominator. So if we set this up, we know that the correct units are grams, and this means we flip the moles and they're on top, which means we also have to flip the 18. So we're gonna have one up here and 18 down here. So times this is just in moles per grams. So now we can see that we're going to cancel out this and this. Um, and so if we do this though, we're still going to have our answer in milliliters over moles. And so what we have to do is now get milliliters to turn into liters. So to cancel out milliliters, we're gonna have to have milliliters on the top because it's on the denominator now. So milliliters here and to turn into liters, what we want at the end of the day. And so every 1,000 milliliters equals one liter. And now we can see that these units will cancel out, and so will these. And so the only units that we haven't canceled out yet are moles on the top and liters on the bottom, so we know that this is correct. And so if we go ahead and do the math, it's actually going to equal 55 0.6, use three sig figs, moles per liter. So, to convert from the density of water to the molarity of water, we just have to multiply by the reciprocal of the molar mass and do a conversion from milliliters to liters. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been Conversion from Density to Molarity.